my wife was expecting. I was traveling every week for work, so I was never home. <laughs> I wanted to be there for my family. I wanted to be there for my son. My name is Jonathan Brand, and I'm a sergeant here at Ellsworth Correctional Facility. I had some life changes, and uh, I thought the best thing to do was find a job where uh, I could be home every day. I had a friend that uh, suggested Ellsworth Correctional Facility. He's like, you think that would be something you'd like? I wasn't sure, but I told him, yeah, well, I'll give it a shot. Let them know that I want to talk to them. I talked to one of the captains. I got to know him. He explained what the job was and the multiple opportunities if I didn't like being a corrections officer, that there was always opportunities in other areas. So I took the chance. I'm really glad that I took that chance. I oversee all of the industrial yard, and that's where our inside private industry is, and also Wheels for the World, the bike shop. We have our Barton County welding class in that yard. We also have uh, Custom Crafts, which is our special projects area, which is part of the Spiritual Life Center. My job is to ensure the safety of all staff and all other residents here so that nothing out of the ordinary happens. Those individuals that have been eligible to actually go and work in those buildings um, are learning how to become financially stable, learning how to be a productive member of society, and just uh, learning how to do good and forget about all the previous things that they've done. Also, we have, like I said, our welding class that helps prepare them. A lot of these individuals have gone to those classes and uh, gotten their certificates to prepare them to actually apply for these jobs and be able to have an opportunity to work there. Some of those guys have a lot of talent. I've seen a lot of their work and it's, it's amazing what they can do with a welder and a bunch of metal. There's a tank that every time I go in there, I see it and I'm like, wow, like, there's so many small pieces. I don't know how they can make that stuff. <laughs> They've worked and worked until they perfected their talent, their skills, and just make all this wonderful artwork. That's truly what it is, it's art. <laughs> when I first started, I didn't know what to expect, honestly, but I came in here and I was just surprised at how much support and uh, information was being given to me. Just left and right, people just throwing themselves out there, offering to help me just to learn to better myself as a corrections officer. They've made me enjoy the job. <laughs> when I started, I was a corporal and I got pushed by many people. They were like, you need to promote, you're gonna love it, you're gonna want to do it. They motivated me to promote and I don't regret it one bit. It's been a great year as a sergeant. <laughs> And yeah, that's something I always tell all the new people that you can go as far as you want. If you want to stay as a corporal, if you want to stay as a sergeant, you can. But if you push forward and you're motivated, you can one day become a captain, the major, the warden, whatever you, you set your eyes on. As long as you're willing and you have that motivation, the people here, are, they're here to back you up and support you in your choice. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs>